The stage is set for a major courtroom battle. Hulk Hogan, former professional wrestler turned reality star, is taking on media website Gawker. The issue, Gawker published part of a Hulk Hogan sex tape. Here's a breakdown of the fight, punch by punch. News reports begin to circulate on the internet about a possible Hulk Hogan sex tape. Gawker posts a one minute 40 second montage from a sex tape recorded in 2006 featuring Hogan and Heather Clem, the wife of Hogan's friend and radio host, Bubba the Love Sponge Clem. Former Gawker editor A.J. Delorio also posts more than 1,400 words about the full 30 minute tape. Hogan files two lawsuits, the first against Bubba and Heather Clem, the second against Gawker for $100 million alleging defamation and invasion of privacy. Hogan says he never knew he was being taped. Gawker says showing the footage is protected under the Constitution because Hogan has made his sex life a matter of public interest. Hogan and Bubba reach a settlement, and Bubba issues a statement saying, quote, Hulk Hogan was unaware of the presence of the recording device in my bedroom. A district court judge sides with Gawker saying, quote, the balance between the First Amendment and copyright is preserved in part by the doctrine of fair use. The following year, a circuit judge orders in a preliminary ruling that Gawker remove the video of Hogan as well as the written commentary from its site. Gawker takes down the video, but leaves up the post describing the 30-minute sex tape. As the legal battle rages on, Gawker's founder has made no bones about what losing this legal battle could mean for the media company. Very few media companies keep $100 million in a war chest for this kind of occasion. A Florida jury awards Hogan more than $140 million. Gawker's attorneys plan to appeal the decision. As a judge denies Gawker's motions for a new trial, it's revealed that Silicon Valley billionaire Peter Thiel financed Hogan's lawsuit. The investment is personal. Teal was outed as gay by Gawker in 2007. Teal told the New York Times that those and other articles ruined people's lives for no reason. Meantime, Gawker explores a sale as a contingency against the several lawsuits filed against it.